it's party time! Hey everybody, Alaskan Beard here, and today we're going to be looking at how to get Viva Pinata for Windows working. In 2019, Microsoft discontinued games for Windows Live, so without this fix, if you start up Viva Pinata, you will see that you have no gamer profile and no ability to create one. I went ahead and wrote a batch file that can automate this process, and then I also have the files to do this manually. They're both hosted on a GitHub repository that I will have linked in the description, and I will be going over how to do both processes in this video. I also wanted to mention that this fix should work for the legitimate or the cracked version of Viva Pinata. I highly recommend buying it if you're able. It's readily available via Amazon or eBay for five or ten dollars. But if you are flying your Jolly Roger and sailing the high seas, this fix should work for you as well. However, I will not be providing any install media for the game. And now quickly I will show the error if it is not working. The first step in the automated install is going to be to download the repository from GitHub. Uh, you can just go ahead and click on clone or download and then download zip. Once you have that downloaded, you're going to want to go ahead and right click on the file that has been downloaded and click extract all. Once you have the files extracted, you're going to want to go ahead and right click on the install.bat and click run as administrator. If you get the Windows protected your PC prompt, click more info and run anyways. You might also get a Windows administrator prompt. Go ahead and click on that and click yes. Once it pops up, you're going to want to go ahead and enter your username. And then this is demonstrating what happens if you do not have Viva Pinata installed in the default location. So it's just asking you to browse to the root of the folder. Once you do that, it will have copied two files, xlive and xlive ini, to your installed directory. The purpose of asking for your username is because the xlive ini will now have your username saved in it where before it was just a placeholder. Now I'm going to show you what the install process looks like if you have the game installed into program files, which is the default install location. The steps are the same, right click on install.bat, run as administrator, click on more info, click on run anyway, and then go ahead and click on the admin prompt and click yes. This time it's just going to ask you for your username and then the screen will basically disappear. It's already generated the correct xlive.ini and moved it to the program files x86 Microsoft games Viva Pinata folder, just like we had to do with the previous install directory, but this time it's automated. Now I'm going to show you the manual install process. You're gonna to wanna to start from the same extracted folder as before, but this time you're gonna right click on the xlive ini, right click on open with, and then notepad. Once you have that open, you're gonna find the file that says username equals your name, and you're gonna replace your name with your desired name as shown. From there, you're gonna to wanna to copy both the xlive.ini and the xlive.dll to your install directory. Once you have that done, everything should be working for you. And here's what you'll see in Viva Pinata after XLive has been successfully installed. I also wanted to include a little bit of information about XLiveless. It is a rewrite project that replaces the files that are used for Xbox Live connections with kind of homebrew ones. They're more or less made per game, so these ones work, as far as I'm aware, only for Viva Pinata, and that is what the XLive.dll is. The xlive.ini is what the DLL looks at to pull its configurations. So normally what would happen is you would connect to Xbox Live, you would sign in with your gamer tag, and then it would generate the INI based on that. You would be player one with your current gamer tag and any other settings that it pulled. Since we can't connect to Xbox Live, that's why we modify the INI is so you can have your effectively gamer tag in Viva Pinata. So that's the whole point of changing your name. I also wanted to mention that there are uh, fixes for getting this game to work in widescreen as well as 4K. Uh, natively, it supports up to 1080p, so anything beyond that requires modification of the Viva Pinata EXE itself. I will go ahead and leave links for how to do that in the video description as well. 
And thank you everybody for watching. Uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments and I will do my best to help you out. As I mentioned in the intro though, please do not ask for install files for this game. I will not be providing them. I live in the United States and it is very, very frowned upon to do things like that. So thank you. Thank you.